there, buddy. This is John Bain. What I welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens because we're making it happen, buddy. We're making it happen. Uh, we also want to take time to thank you guys for all the support of the videos. Much appreciated. And what, what just happened? <laughs> okay. Uh, support on the videos, the likes, the comments, um, all the good stuff. You guys are amazing. Thank you so very much. Also, uh, in regards to the last video, I had a lot of suggestions about putting the entire base on a uh, bearing and changing it to 45 degrees there. I don't want to do that because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff that moves inside the base, and I am afraid of FPS loss, like on a major scale. And uh, we're just, I'm just trying to avoid that kind of a, of a thing going on. Uh, right now, I mean, I, uh, well, I'll say this. I've been a few hours. I've been grinding some more. And got some more stuff built to base. I have a temporary area built just so I can craft. I went the wrong way. Temporary area to where I can craft. And um, that's kind of where I'm at right now with that. And I've, I've actually knocked out some stuff. I was looking at the mats that we have chilling around. And I was like, well, there's something we could do while I'm grinding so we could do some more base building. And um, we had a, we, <laughs> you know, I, I've been grinding a lot of uh, clams for glue and adhesive um, to, to be able to actually make some more chests to go in our area, which we've got. And um, anyway, I was like, oh, we have a bunch of oil now, too. So uh, we've done a, a boat episode before. A raft one? Raft! And, uh, sorry, it's from playing raft. I used to scream it, and I don't know why. It just has burned into me. Anyway, we we've got a lot of oil, and we did a, um, a raft episode before. And uh, we didn't play with the bubble wrap. And we had some suggestions about water cannons and stuff like that. So, uh, is that lined up? No. Let's get you lined up, buddy. Go out the hole. You go out the hole. Get back in the hole. Oops, and I just fell out the hole. <laughs> All right, let's put you, like, right here. There we go. That works for me. And, um, anyway, we didn't play the bubble wrap, so I got some of that. Um, also the suggestions, and I was thinking about it too, is propulsion with a water cannon. A lot of people think that you can just put a bearing and spin it, and it will, like, it will interact with the water and push you forward, which I am, I'm gonna say it doesn't, and I'm very certain it doesn't, because we played with that a little bit before, right when we started ever streaming this game. We streamed it one time when it came out, and that's it. Um, as you can see up here, though, I have the craft bot set up. This is, please remember... This is all temporary. The only thing we're working on right now is building a shell. The little bit of details that you see here is just to kind of give a feel. I like to, when I build, oh crap, don't go in the hole. I'm just all about that today, aren't I? Um, hmm, I guess I'll go right here. Uh, I'm all about, you know, just trying to trying to get the shell up. Uh, I like to have a build kind of like tell me what it wants to be as we build it. Um, I have ideas of what I generally want to do, but then as it comes together, we'll do stuff. But as you can see, the floor needs to come up more, which is great because I'm going to have an acoustic ceiling in this in the system here. Again, guys, this is the basement. This is the basement. So uh, I'm not going to do any like fancy schmancy outside stuff or like uh, like a balcony or anything like that. The interior and exterior is going to have some stuff done to it. Don't get me wrong, but we still have two more floors to build. And as you can see here, this is all interconnected. And I put one little loop on the end of it for right now. And it looks pretty solid. Uh, this has been a lot of work to get this much done. I want to let you know. <laughs> uh, but but it's worth it because it's coming together. I'm pretty happy with how it's coming together. But um, this is like the, the first take on it. And this is probably going to end up sliding over and centering it in the room some. Um, but I have it coming up through the floors. And again, this is temporary. We'll have the chest back in a loop here soon. I just don't, I don't have the mats to really spend on it right now. And I don't want to, you know, we got to get it. God dang. I am all in the holes today. Uh, I, I don't want to like, you know, like. Like, we use mats on things right now. As long as we get up to functional level, we're good. I've done some rounds of farming, too. I did some oranges, apples, and um, some blueberries and bananas. We do need to grow the tier three seeds that we got from going in the warehouse. But, like, yeah, I like how this looks. It's just a proof of concept kind of thing starting out. Um, the, the craft bots are set up. I still only have one at level five because I haven't had time to... Uh, farm for that, did the oil, uh, glue thing, did some metal and stone, did some wood, uh, just so I could get this up. I did find some more wood blocks that I had to be able to just throw down, um, a quick floor for us to work with so I can again start crafting stuff again. Um, but I, I like the idea of what's coming together. Again, this is not any detail work, decoration, nothing. It's a shell. So, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to sound rude or anything. I'm just saying that's what this is. So, I plan to do a lot more of this. I just want to get a basic thing together. Anyway, I'm going to get some, um, pumps together. We're going to get, we're going to try it with a water cannon, I think, too, along with a pump. We're going to do get the switches on uh, and all this other stuff. And, uh, and I've got bubble wrap made, too. I missed the bubble wrap before. We got bubble wrap made from the oil. I did grab this because if you look at the buoyancy, it's up there pretty high, too, with low weight. And then with a bubble wrap, we're looking at, 
uh, lower weight with the same buoyancy. So it'll be interesting to see how things work. You see, I already got some things I've, I've had together already. So we'll see what happens. You guys hold on and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back and we're here and we're ready to do some more testing. Uh, we'll see some things first off. Let's try out the buoyancy of this bubble wrap. Let's try this out. Let's grab you. Let's put you in the water. Underwater, maybe, and see what happens. Huh, interesting. Uh, what do I, ha I have a timer on me? Let's see if this does anything with the weight. Oh, oh, it does. Oh, whoa! Okay. Let's put you over here. Okay, it does look like it's rotating some of the weight. When it gets fully underwater, is that when it popped up? All right, let's remove you. Put something like heavy. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Um. Wow. <laughs> so that's interesting. I like that actually. Okay. So we have that. All right. We probably need to do a little more stuff with that. We'll probably do a little bit of that um off camera, baby. Let's get rid of you right quick. Um. And let's try out the wood blocks now, because these wood, uh, it, and a hammer does break it, okay, the, because the durability is so low. Let's try out the wood blocks and see how they do. Now, again, these wood blocks are two weight and the same buoyancy as the the bubble wrap. So I think the two in conjunction might do something, inter not, well, interesting, but do something that we probably need for rafting. Look at that. Okay. All right, so what if we put another one here? Okay, I, I should, is it, are these actually centered on this? Cause I want to make sure, no, they're not. Um, what I'll do is remove these two rows. We have that and then we'll take you, put you here. We'll take you, put you here and just see something in the water. And it just sinks together. Now, we bring in the buoyancy factor. Uh, let's just change out the middle rows of these with the bubble wrap. I just, again, this is just you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not claiming to be Mr. Specialist here. Okay, I'm, I'm just, we're just testing it out, some R and D here, and because I'd really like to be able to get some sort of raft thing going on. And with these two products together, fresh from Bait Industries, we might be able to get something. It's gonna pop up. And, yes, it does. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that's uh, interesting very much. So how does uh we gotta be careful where it goes. So let's let's just hit it like this. Oh Snapple. Okay, okay, okay. Now uh, I uh, those of you that are heavily into realistic water physics, I, I really feel like this game is not don't expect that uh, i think it's very extremely basic i don't think the full laws of buoyancy or whatnot are going to be in true effect here in making like a hole we could probably do a hole <laughs> h-u-l-l -L, um and and work something out here but uh just i think generally like especially with the video they're using a raft uh i i, I don't really feel i don't know we'll find out i'm sure it's possible to a degree if you work it out but um it's not going to be on the level, I don't think. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just talking off the cuff here. So just expressing ideas because um, that's what we sometimes like to do. Let's do something else now. Um, I've had people suggest the water cannon. Oops, wrong one. I'm just going to go ahead and redo you with, with the wood. I had people suggest using like the, either the water cannon or the pumps to uh, make something happen here. Okay, that's a nice size there. I'll take that. Uh, let's do a hole. Let's do a hole like here -ish or something. I don't know how big we need it right now. And maybe place a pump on the edge of it. Okay, so we'll just we'll shave off a side just to kind of make it even. Yeah, let's do it right there. Let's place you right here. And then we'll place another pump. I have another one on me somewhere. Right there. I have more than one on me. Right there. Let's change you to input. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the woodses and put it right here. All right, and then this is off by one, so we'll pull off one row. 
And then I'm going to add some... Well, let's just try this first and see how it floats. Slash doesn't float. Yes, I know I need a switch. I know I need a switch. Oh, it floats. Okay. It's got... Of course, the weight's a little bit forward. But just, you know, again, we're doing quick testing right now. I want to see if this thing works or not. So, this should suck it in and that should blow it out. It's not going to shoot it off just yet. I have buttons, but we'll just we'll just toggle the switch. So I'll get a cup of water. I have some water on me. Yes, I've got some. All right, let's try this. Oh. Oh, and not even an inch. So, what if we put a wall up for it to hit directly, like in the ground behind it? Let's try that out. Okay. No. I know that wouldn't really matter. I just I just want to make sure it was hitting something just to see how they did it. I know that doesn't make sense, but my brain said try it, so I tried it. Let's try it here. Just any kind of movement whatsoever getting done. And this is floaty timing, right? Oh, it's definitely is floaty timing. Okay. Interesting. So that really is not a thing. I don't think a water cannon would make a difference. Um, let's go grab that. Let's reset you. I don't care if this thing is off balance right now. We're just doing straight up testing. So let's see here. Right there. Let's do that one. This thing is heavier than a pump. I know it doesn't have to attach to it. We're just going to connect it there, but I just kind of want to might help with the the weight balance thing and then put you on this oh there's a little bit but i think it's i think that is just from the propulsion of that it's not actually hitting anything it's from the vibration i guess you could say i don't know if there's much force are we actually moving very slightly. I think what we, we would end up getting more movement out of actually hitting this thing while standing on it or something. Let's see if that's a thing. I know I can put it back on the lift, but let's just see. Let's just see. Like, put this here. And then put this, like, right. Let's do, like, a wall or something. <laughs> Alright, and then turn you on. Oh, that's funny. I'm sorry. That's funny. That That's not what we're going to go for here. We're trying to keep away from manual labor on this thing. Let's remove that. The front end, hopefully. I don't know how feasible something like that's going to be. I'm going to move this off, off the water. Okay. Um, hmm. Huh. <laughs> that's kind of funny to me, honestly. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of little things right quick while it's nighttime, and I'll be right back. You guys, hold on. Okay, decided to try something out since, you know, I, I said I don't think it'll work, but who knows? It may, might work. It might not work. We don't know unless we try, right? So let's try it. Uh, I'm going to do a gas canister right in the middle. Just see this thing floats with the, the weight completely balanced on this. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, okay. It is, it is down some, but we still have plenty of stuff to do. Uh, we could do. Let's go ahead and put... Let's get up here if I can. Let's just put a thruster here. This is not a good, good example. Oh, it, oh it's, it's touching the ground, isn't it? Let's put you over here. How much is it underwater? It is getting underwater more, but we can at least see... This might be feasible. It might, we might actually be able to make a real boat. <laughs> I'd say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys might be right. They might actually have the physics more in line. Well, I guess it would make sense how it's, everything's working, but you know, just to make a real boat, we'll leave the back kind of flat. That's what I like to do with the boats when we do boats. And this actually, I usually I do my shape going back a little bit more. Okay. Um, okay. So with that stuff on there, I probably should get the bike, uh, the motorcycle seat for this because of the angling that we're doing. Um, let's fill in the side some with some buoyant type material to see just how much one row affects it. That would be interesting as well in my, in my mind. 
because it would be nice to be able to go and explore the high seas with something that actually looks like something that would be exploring the high seas. Um, it actually looks like, yeah, it did something. And actually that little bit displaced the weight some for us. Okay. Uh, I guess we should try, I have some gas with me. Um, I wonder how bad that's the wrong side. I wonder how bad the seats going to flip out on me, uh, being in the wrong, oh, there's a seats on me right there. Uh, and we have gas right here. Let's just grab that much and uh, i have two level two thrusters and a level three thruster i made the two level twos used up some expensive components uh how about to say let's just see how bad the weight is with you wish we had the the the, the modded um captain's wheel okay we're, we're 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 managing it some it looks like it's leaning because of yeah of that but that's fine right now we'll just see what happens uh man I'm, I'm, i really want to go and get that bike seat though uh and then let's put this is just for science right now let's put up um uh, we'll use we'll use the wood blocks right now and then put this up here and then bring this out some it's still at water level and then come out two on either end and then add, I have bearings with me. We'll, I grabbed, brought a bunch of bearings. Oh, we need to do the paddle stuff so we can check out that too. I know some of you guys think that works. I don't think it will, especially since the water cannon thing didn't do anything. Well, it is a different kind of thing. Maybe the, the actual, the motion of it moving will create energy. All right, can I put, I have, it's been such a long time. I would think I can put these directly on there. I can, but I have to use a block. Okay, great, gotcha. I should, well, this thing's gonna be, a little, have a little, uh, a little junk in the trunk, I think. All right, and then put you on the insides, right? And then take you, put some gas in you. All right, and then we'll take this, put this in. Wait, oh, you can't? Wait, you, oh, I was, oh no, dirt. I was thinking of the bearings. My bad, my bad. All right, and then these go attached to you. Oh, it's on the lift. So if I want to go left, that should not actually work. It might make me strafe more than anything. We'll see. We'll see. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Let's see how bad it sinks in the back. Okay. So with that on there, uh, let's try this out then. I brought different kinds of materials with me too in case we need to weight it, like balance it out with some weight once we get it going. Like I have some metal on me. I have a couple of the fencing. I have some of the scrap wood. Um, I'm just wondering if we can balance this thing out with extra buoyancy. Let's lift you up so I can see my, make sure I got it even. And it's going to be tilting a little bit, little bit to the side, but that's fine. It's fine. wonder if that's enough. Kind of is. It's not enough. Okay. Uh, let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and go get the motorcycle seat. And then I'm going to also get, uh, Get some more of this on here and try and balance it out and see if this this version works or not. Because we got to because we're gonna have to if this works we're gonna make it look cool too. So we'll see what the deal is. Uh, I think I have oh no I still have some crates I think left of the the original testing grounds. So you guys hold on I'll be right back. Okay um the turning actually works. What the hell just happened? What just happened? <laughs> I was just floating along. Is this a... Oh, this is a dead spot. Oh, that's what happened. There's spots... Like, I see I have no breath, and I can jump and move around. There's a dead spot right here. Oh, God, that's hilarious. Where's the end? There it is. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, what, what's happening now? Oh, it... it oh, my God. Okay, let's, let's get back over here. Um... <laughs> that's hilarious to me for some reason i don't know i don't know why it's, it's tickling me so much but whatever you gonna float back up at all can i help you out here all right there we go okay so we'll just make sure we don't go that way but it does turn it So 
so that's the thing. One thing, again, is still the big issue. Gas. Um, that little bit used up two gas. So that is kind of a problem. Or, oops, oops, I did it again. I just did it again. How much gas did that use? Yeah. Okay, uh, for the for this portion of the experiment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I, I don't have really any more components, so I'm going to go kill some things. Um, grind out some components. It's going to take a minute, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. I already have one higher tier. I think it's actually... I think we did tier 4, not tier 5 on it. Or did we do tier 5? I don't remember, but I'm going to get... We're going to try it with two tier 5s on the back of it, if we can. And see how much gas it actually takes up, because that that's there's there's nothing else for that. And then we'll get into trying some bearing controller stuff too, just so you guys can see that and maybe have a final product. So anyway, let me go ahead and do that. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I forgot I had 30 components on me, which was great. And so I had a level three engine, not a four or five. So I leveled that up, went out, got some more components, went back at base, dropped stuff off, came back, got the other one upgraded. And I've already done a little bit of testing, and it, it's definitely more feasible with the level uh, 5 engines. It's pretty awesome that we have two level 5 uh, thrusters now, too, by the way. Uh, I'm going to go over here, so I'm away from the fall in the hole area. Let's just put you, like, right there. Get on you. Turn it. See? See? And I have, I have it turned up some. Oh, come on. Oh, don't be like this. We were doing okay when we tested you. Let's face you this way, then. There we go. And it's nice because the, the little bit extra junk in the trunk makes it not dip forward as much. Watch the bar. There's a full tank in here. It's moving along. We got this. It's moving along pretty good. And it still hasn't used up the whole thing yet. So that's well, it's turning, turning, turning. All right. There we go. And it's still holding up. This is for science, y'all. So, with the speed we're going versus the fuel usage right now, where are we at with the fuel right now? See? We only use that much up with two of them. Honestly, that's not horrible. Um, I think we could make this handle two uh, gas canisters, and if we use it for exploring, that's fine. And since we're not really using gas to move around anywhere else except for mining right now and stuff um it, it really isn't that bad and it handles pretty good considering so i think if we got this thing set up looking pretty good this might be at least a kind of a go-to winner see look at that we even can corner pretty good so con sorry guys so we're talking about making it more like a boat because you're right <laughs> Uh, there's no ego here with that. I just, you know, my assumptions were wrong. So there you have it. It's kind of working. And we could probably balance it out more, make it a little bit bigger. Um, it'd be interesting to see how it handles it. Like, even with that little bit. See? It's really not that bad. How about that distance? Okay, now we're down to six. <laughs> okay. It's really not that bad, but still... Because it just probably reloaded them. I wonder how long. I probably should do testing with with the thrusters and see how long it lasts with well, like one can of gas. Let's go back to where we are with the car. It, it works really nice, actually. Okay, so never mind. I thought I was doing pretty good, but it looks like it not so much. I wonder how a single thruster push would do to... Um, with the stuffs. Um, let's go ahead and put you over here. We're going to go ahead and try out stuff now with the, um, show you guys with the bearings, what the deal is with that. All right. And we'll also remove this section of it right there. And then we'll go here. Um, and I'll remove some of this stuff too, because I want to make sure we're about the same and then add in the buoyancy after the fact. Just to make sure we're kind of at least close to the being the same as the front end of this. And then we're up in here. 
Okay, that, that's probably a little bit more down below. No, it's it's right. It's right. Okay, cool. So we're back to where we were with this. Uh, I'm just going to do something simple here. We're going to go to the middle-ish. Put that in. Put some bearings in. And let's put in another bearing here. And I'm just going to use something like this. And just to see. So we can do some more testing with it. I don't think it's really going to matter in the end. Again, I, I could be wrong. We, this could be the best thing ever. And uh, let's do like this. Let's just add some paddle ends on this too. Just to have it there. And bring this down. Go down here. It looks like I can go up another one. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can go up another one from that, right? Right? Yeah. And I'm going to do the... Let me do the same. Let me go get this thing set up so we're not wasting time. It's just a simple setup. I don't. I really don't think it's going to work. But I said that earlier in the episode, so we'll find out. You guys, hold on. All right. As you can see... <laughs> we're not getting anything from that. What you could probably end up doing is do something that does the weight, dis you know, d uh, distribution changes that might be able to get it to move. But I think for our needs, this is definitely not the way to go. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> okay. All right. So now there's one last thing to do. And that's to make the boat look like a boat. I'm going to use a single thruster. Um, we'll try to get it balanced out and make it look boaterific. And that's what we've got. But yeah, um, we could do it on land. That's not a problem. There we go. Now we're in the water. And we're, yep, that's just how it is. Okay. Well, uh, that can, we can say we at least tried it, but I figured it wouldn't do that. What well, It would be really cool if they did let that happen. But I could see some issues with the floatiness compared to that and how much like calculation is going to go on. And it's going to crush the game. So, it, 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 we, I mean, you gotta admit, we, this is, I mean, more surface is not gonna do anything because there's no movement whatsoever in a forward kind of motion. I mean, we could try to take, like, we can take off a couple pieces and see if the weight changes will do anything. We're just pretty much moving forward, up, up and down, up and down from the weight changes. Okay, and then um, let's do this right quick. I'll just just so for the so we can say we did it like this uh, right here. It's pretty much the same thing as the other part, and then we'll do one more, and then this one right here. <laughs> so no paddling. All right, let me do what I'm going to do. We'll be back to see how she looks. You guys, you know the deal. All right, we've got it built. It's up together. It looks kind of good, actually. Um, I left little spots where you can see the, the gas in here. So we have 60 in each one. We have two engine thrusters in the back with the, each of their own uh, gas uh, container for them on the bearings connected to the driving. Kind of filled in where you really couldn't see the bubble wrap, really, except for a couple spots. Uh, but there's room for the thrusters to move. They're underwater-ish. And it, um, well, let's just let's just check it out. So just talking about it, let's go ahead and face you like this too, this way. It floats really nicely, actually. And it moves decently well. And it's kind of shaped like a boat. I probably could. I probably want to move the seat down like one space. Let's, actually, let's do that while we're out in the water and do it like right here and then take you, put you here. Go in the hole. There's your hole. I wonder if I take out this right now, if I'd sink. Probably not. I don't think we will. And then put this in here so it's filled in so it doesn't look so janky. And then put this in the front. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I like it kind of down in it a little bit. It brings down the center of gravity some too. So let's let's connect, reconnect these now. Put these on these. Let's grab you. Let's put you over here. Let's go over here. Let's change these guys like that, like that, and bam. We're good. Oh, that does look better. <laughs> 
So, um, again, not the most fuel efficient thing, but since we've reduced our fuel costs elsewhere, it's kind of cool that we can build something like this. I really need to paint it up, and I'd love to decorate it up more, but, like, for visual style, I mean, we're, we're kind of there, the blocks and stuff like that. I really wish I had some angled stuff to work with that was light. Um, but, hey, it, it, it works. It works. How much of gas have we used so far? <laughs> yeah, this is like a fun toy. <laughs> when you're feeling rich, you're going to go out for a ride on the boat. I'd love to be able to go explore with this more, but it's still the costs are there. But again, like a oil run is we, the oil I used up. I've been using for little things here and there, but generally it's like I used it on the, the, the bubble wrap and then we're used it for the gas in this. Um, it still moves pretty good though. I, I, and it, it's, 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 it's a solid investment. Um, it's unfortunate the other two methods of, of movement is, is not a thing. So um, I do have one other other thing uh, that we're going to do right quick that's kind of silly. Uh, <laughs> now that we have the main thing done, I'm really happy with it. It, it, it's, it actually handles pretty dang well, honestly. Like pulling it up to shore, like we could build a dock and go into it. But we got one other silly thing to do. And I'm going to go get it and we're going to try it out. You all done. All right, welcome back. And in case you guys didn't know, you uh, you can weld the farmers to blocks uh, on the backs of them. There's a weld spot. And um, I had a suggestion of last video from Azure Drake. Uh, uh, he says, thought I'd be, uh, I would share an idea I had. Notice that the trap farmers float, not just a little bit, but completely out of the water. So um, box them to make pontoons. I'm down. <laughs> after, after all the work we've done today, might as well try something silly. And I feel like that's a fun, silly thing. It might actually be good for science, too. Let's just first off see how it works with stuff. Uh, let's remove this. There you go. And just roll for me, baby. Give me, give me a spot. There you go. And we're going to put you on this. Let's rotate. Okay, so it's on the edge where I grabbed it. Is there a centerpiece? Is there, it's probably even width. So that's just how it's going to be. We're not going to do anything serious with it unless it ends up being such a great thing. All right, so there's that one. Okay, okay. And then we're going to take this guy here. Roll it off. Roll it off. Come on. Come on. Move. Move, damn you. Okay, there we go. Somewhere in here. Right there. All right, and this one's going to go, like, right about here-ish. All right, just, just really quick just to see what happens. Um, oh my God. Oh, hello, sir. No, you cannot take part of this experiment. Get that out of the way. Ooh, another component. I will take you. Um, yeah, that's a interesting thing. I think I'm going to get a third one right quick and, uh, put it all together. We'll be right back. Okay, this is a thing. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got a little heavy, but it, it moves. I need more thrust to turn better. Uh, I, I have some heavier things to see, but this is... It barely affects their weights. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, how about more stuff? I, I grabbed all the heaviest stuff I had on me. Let's just see. Whoa, don't fall off. Uh, put one there, put one here. Oh my god, it doesn't even, like, phase it at all. How about at the back end? Are you serious? It really doesn't matter? Holy crap. Okay, it definitely affected the forward movement, but it doesn't... You want a floating base. There's your floating base, guys. Holy crap. Seriously, like, get enough of those, weld them to the freaking wood, have floated, build your base on top of that. Floaty base time. There you go. Win. Holy crap. That's, these are probably the most buoyant things in there. I appreciate your service, guys. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, uh, that's the time we got for the day. Hopefully you guys will like what you see. If you like what you see, don't forget to slam the like button. Thank you so very much again to support the series. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you got some ideas or anything like that, make sure you leave a comment down below. But as always, thank you so very much, and you all have a good night. <laughs>